The Carmarthen Velodrome in West Wales was the setting for the final day of the Ovo Energy Women's Tour, and the stage was set for drama. With only one second separating Lizzie Dagnan and Cassia Niviadoma at the top of the general classification, bonus seconds on intermediate sprints and the finish line would prove crucial. Never did GC in a world tour race as good as I'm now, so I'm I'm pretty happy already. But of course, uh, yeah, we want to try to move up to top ten. But I think it will be very hard today. But we are going to try it. We go for the GC, and uh, this is the primary goal. So we will see what happens. I'm also there to take some bonus seconds if something happens, and also Alice. So yeah, we have all options to play, and I think we have a good road captain. We have a strong unit, so we are going to do it. A quick circuit of the track for the peloton and the race was out on the roads of Carmarthenshire for another aggressive day's racing. After a long fight for a place in the day's breakaway, a large group of 11 riders were clear and set to compete for the first bonus seconds of the day at Tally, 31.8 kilometres into the 125.9 kilometre race. Team Bigler's Leah Thomas led across the line with Corinne Rivera in second and Ellen van Dijk working for her teammate and race leader Lizzie Dagnan in third place. Rivera was in action again on the first classified climb of the day, Bethlehem Hill, the American champion breaking clear and taking the maximum points, while behind the peloton began to close in. Black Mountain was the second climb and proved a real challenge with epic views and punishing gradients. The brake began to struggle, splitting in two halfway up, before Leah Thomas took the maximum points at the top of the spectacular climb over the Welsh Moorlands. Over the top and the breakaway was caught on the descent to Amanford for the final crucial intermediate sprint, 34 kilometres from the line. It was Leah Kirschman who took the honours with Christine Majerus second and Dagnan bagging one very important second in third place. The race reformed and once again the Bulls Dolman's lead out train took charge in Pembury Country Park before Amy Peters took to the front to win the Dutch team's third stage of the week. Dagnan placed eighth ensuring she became the first woman to win the Ovo Energy Women's Tour on two occasions. Yeah, I was hoping for a good result in the stage, so I was two times uh, top three. And I think I uh, need to be really happy with the uh, third and overall as well. But Christine they was also really strong with the fourth place. And Jolene two times uh, a stage win, so I think we were here with a really strong team. What a surprise! I really didn't expect that coming into it this week. Um, I have my teammates to thank, to be honest. It was a really strong performance from Trek Segafredo. Everybody played their part. Trixie in the beginning. Um, and unfortunately, obviously, we lost her to the crash. So it was all about kind of fighting spirit until the end. And uh, I'm just so grateful to them, really. Dignan was joined on the podium by Cassia Nieviadoma in second, with Peters in third place overall. Dignan also won the best British rider jersey to go with the points classification, making it a good day for the former world champion. Active all week, American champion Corinne Rivera won the award for the sprints competition while Canyon Sram's Cassia Niviadoma was the queen of the mountains, while Dignan's Trek Segafredo squad took home the best team award. Frenchwoman Roxanne Fournier took her best result of the week in third. Bulls Dolmans had two in the top ten with Christine Majerus finishing fifth on the day. Demi Vollering continued an impressive season, placing fifth overall, with Team Sunweb's Canadian Leah Kirschman finishing one place back in sixths. Not present in Britain, Annemiek van Floyten continues to lead the UCI Women's World Tour individual standings, though Cassia Niviadoma moved into second place overall. Martha Cavalli will continue to wear the blue Santini jersey of the UCI Women's World Tour young rider. An excellent week for German champion Liana Lippert, who moves to sixth in the UCI Women's World Tour young rider standings, though Cavalli now has a commanding lead. I'm happy because we work at all the weeks uh, for remaining with this jersey. Uh, my team uh, helped me in uh, the most important stage uh, of this tour. I hope that I can in the next month uh, remaining with this and uh, we work at the hard.